If you're an empath struggling to protect yourself from negative energies, try these five techniques and watch as your energy remains cleared, lifted and protected permanently. So everything is energy and vibration, including our thoughts and our feelings. And our thoughts and our feelings determine the vibration and the energy that we emit to the environment around us. This is for everything, every person and every being. So it's possible that we can feel and feel the energy difference between each person as we go around our day and we mingle our energies with other people's energies fields. And if a person may be stuck in lower vibrational energies, they might have a lot of fear, they might have a lot of anger, they might have a lot of energy that they're carrying, that they're emitting out into the environment around them. If you're particularly sensitive, you may pick these things up. Or what's very common, you might be living with some people who may give off this negative energy all the time. And whether you're living with someone who might be coming across like in a toxic way that we would call like a toxic energy or would always have a negative vibration or have these habits that are difficult to deal with, or if you go into public places or even work, anywhere where you have to go somewhere and you find it difficult to manage the energy. Sometimes all of this can get overwhelming and it can feel like our energy is being lowered or influenced by others around us. And of course, we can easily do the same thing if we aren't feeling quiet ourselves and we may influence the environment around us by what we're putting out. But what we want to do is find ways to do a bit of energy maintenance, a bit of energy clear up. And one of the questions that I get asked a lot is how do I keep my energy safe? How do I keep my energy protected? How do I protect myself from those around me that have negative vibes or have a vibration that doesn't resonate with me? Well, here are some techniques that if you did these as a maintenance, it will keep your energy much higher. Not only will it keep your energy higher and your mood lifted, you will be in a much better position to even help these other people who have a lower vibration lift theirs as well. So first way that you can keep your energy safe and protected is with meditation. Now, if you meditate regularly, you are naturally going to increase your energy and your vibration because you are connecting your consciousness, your awareness, yourself to the universal consciousness. We're always connected to that. We are never disconnected, but we don't always have an awareness of that connection. We get very stuck in the ideas of the to-do list of what we need to do in individuation and separation, forgetting that we are actually connected to a much more expansive field of consciousness. So if you think of every time you have a meditation and you relax and you open yourself up, you are allowing in, and if you request this and set the intention for divine cosmic energy to enter your energy field, think of it as having an energy shower. If you've been around people that have had a negative influence on you or you feel like your energy has been drained, if you meditate and connect in this way, you can imagine that divine energy is coming down your energy field and through your body, removing anything that doesn't need to be there and lifting you up. It's like you're having an energy replenishment. The very nature of meditation alone has wonderful healing physical effects on the physical body anyway, so your physical body will definitely be feeling wonderful benefits from that. Your immune system will be boosted. Both hemispheres of your brain will be more balanced. Your heart will begin to beat in a more coherent way. And your awareness of that you are not your thoughts will begin to take place. And by this, I mean, the more you can meditate and focus on being in the present moment, you become a witness to your thoughts and you realize that you are not your thoughts. So whatever was going on in your mind, whether you're replaying an, an argument that you may have had with your partner or someone that may have annoyed you or upset you that you live with, or if your boss has been unfair to you, any of these situations or these things that we are replaying in our mind that has influenced our energy, we can easily more let go of. You're in a much more calmer, balanced place. So if you meditate regularly, the very nature of meditation is like you're taking an energy shower. If you set the intention and request for divine energy to come through your body and remove anything that you no longer need and any energy blockages to be removed, you're going to see wonderful benefits just from doing it alone. Second thing that you can do if you want to give yourself like a nice cleanse and feel like the energy just to be shifted away from you. I've mentioned this before, where have I got my chimes? Sound and frequency is a wonderful way to do just that. And you might have some singing bowls or you can use these chimes. You can do this in your energy field. You can do this over each one of your chakras. If you're familiar with the chakra system, your seven major chakras, you can hold these or some singing sound bowls over each of your chakras. And as you do this, 
you will be able to clear the energy from your energy centers, from your chakras, because we can have a lot of the energy, lower vibrations stuck in these energy centers and in these chakras. And then of course, that means we get energy blockages and it can make us a lot more tired. So if you use these chimes or singing bowls on your chakras, on your aura, and in every room of your house, particularly in the corners of every room, that frequency can help clear away the energy and lift the vibration up much easier and remove anything that might be stagnant. Sound is a wonderful healing technique. Crystal uh, sound bowls and sound healing is also another wonderful way. Third thing you can do is use crystals. Now, crystals are, are wonderful healing stones that do emit an energy and frequency. And I've got uh, a nice piece of selenite here. Selenite is a wonderful cleansing crystal and it's a crystal that can help clear other crystals as well. So if you've got any crystal bracelets or anything here like that, I'm just looking at the camera, you can use these to help clear your energy and the very nature of these selenite crystals are so high, just being around them is gonna lift your vibration. You can also have crystals like hematite, black obsidian and black tourmaline, smoky quartz, and shungite, which is what I'm wearing here, which is a type of carbon. You can wear these on your person or have them around you and they will protect you from negative energies. Even though they are black crystals, they're actually very grounding and very protective. These are wonderful crystals to have on you. You can get these like tourmaline pendants, hematite pendants, or black tourmaline that you can always have on your body or have bracelets as well. But these are wonderful healing stones that will protect you because each crystal emits a particular frequency because they have certain quali qualities that make them up physically and of course energetically. And because these crystals that carry their own vibration signature is in your energy field because they're on your body, the a vibration that comes from the crystals will disrupt the energy field in your body to be influenced to take on effects of those crystals, if that makes sense. So in a similar way that you could say a negative vibration from another person may interfere with your frequency, so too is the same with crystals, except crystals have much more positive effects. And you can use crystals to help clear your chakras as well in crystal healing. Crystal healing is a topic for another video, but crystals in general are wonderful things and wonderful tools to wear on you and have around your house and in the room to help just keep those vibes free. Fourth thing that you can do, go out into nature. Get away from the hustle and bustle of the busy world and the towns and the offices or the pubs or the clubs or the place that you may go to or public places that have a lot of energy. And if you're particular sensitive to that, you kind of want to have some time away from all of that disruption. If you can just take a walk outside, just go to a park somewhere, or take a walk in the woods or go out to one of these meadows if you're out in the country or if there's anywhere that you can go to that connects you back to nature. Oh my goodness, that is such a healing thing to do. It's one of my most favorite things. And it feels like, like I said earlier, when you have a meditate and you have like an energy shower, if you go out into nature and take in that fresh air, and just ground yourself, be your conscious of the grass, be conscious of the trees, anything being around the green, being anything around that's green is so healing. It helps to earth your energy, it helps to ground you and cleanse you. And there's just something about nature that's just so simple but beautiful. And it can take you out of your mind, not just the experiences of energetically being around something more natural, than being around negative vibes or the hustle and bustle of busy towns. But just being out in nature, something as simple and beautiful as that, helps to take the, the hamster wheel, slows down the hamster wheel on the mind. And I always feel much more centered whenever I've been out in nature. So that's a wonderful way that you can also get away from everything and just like have like another energy shower just by being in nature. Fifth thing you can do is use affirmations. Now, this might be the most powerful one all of the things I've mentioned are powerful, but affirmations are powerful because everything is energy and vibration and energy can be manipulated with intention. But if we remember that fact about energy, you can easily set the intention to never have your energy disrupted by anything that's lower than your personal vibration. So by this, I mean you could easily adopt a very strong belief uh, that it makes you have a very powerful feeling, something that you feel with true conviction. If you feel that with true conviction, then that is your intention. That is a reality that you are creating. That is what you are assuming and that is what you are adopting. In the law of assumption, remember, we manifest things what we feel is already real. So if you feel that it's real, that your energy cannot be disrupted by anything that is lower than your personal vibration, 
it cannot be disrupted by anything that is not in alignment for your highest and best, then you will not be affected by anyone. That intention is powerful enough alone. So if you set that intention, set some affirmations that you affirm to yourself every day before you have to go out in public or before you have to deal with your housemate or maybe a difficult family member or a relationship, set those intentions to keep your vibration high no matter what. And then if you also do these other things that I've mentioned as a general maintenance, you'll find that your energy is going to be much, much higher. You're able to keep your vibration much higher and you're able to adapt and be in these more challenging situations without your energy and vibration being compromised. You can set an affirmation that says only energy and vibration that is for your highest and best, that truly resonates for you, is only allowed in your energy field in your personal space my personal space only accepts an energy and a vibration that it resonates for my highest and best everything else just be reflected away that can be so powerful if you begin to adopt that as a belief let me know in the comments down below if any of these tools resonate for you or if there's anything else that you do that helps keep your vibration high and if you're an empath or someone who's struggling to clear negative energy from your energy field or from your home check out this video up here and this will give you five ways to keep the energy in your home cleansed permanently.